the sink with the earth Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf I never switch sides, like even when I die I'm a ride for the squad, lot of ties in the hearse I've been on the vibe, kinda hard to describe I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine But I'm tired of the grind Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back Got a bag from the way that I write it Queen looking Tyson, do that I survived Doing 80 to the house, then I hit it to the sky Change haters on a tirade Right off the bat, I have spent about eight hours here in the Puma Scoot 1, so I do feel like I have a really good idea what Puma is trying to offer uh, as far as his first signature shoe to the public. These do retail for a price tag of 100 USD, 135 here in Canada. So I think the price tag is very intriguing for a first signature shoe. So as you can see here on the outsole, these do have a very aggressive traction pattern. It is kind of a herringbone here at the toe, and then it gets a lot more tightly knit right here in the middle blue portion. And then the herringbone gets more and more spread out as you get closer to the heel. So overall, this traction pattern for my time spent indoors on clean and dirty floors, this really had me covered it did not matter the motion I was doing, forward motions, lateral motions. Now, one thing you're not gonna get out of this traction pattern or rubber compound is any squeaking at all. You're not gonna hear anything. This thing is a silent killer, and it really reminds me of the serious player-only game one traction pattern. It just does a fantastic job on biting through dust. It's very widely spread out here, as you can see all the way throughout minus that blue portion right here and it does wrap up on the medial side so as far as the traction goes i think puma did a fantastic job here so i'm gonna have to give these a very solid nine out of ten and i will mention if you're looking for an outdoor hoop shoe i do think this will be a viable option because this rubber compound is pretty firm and pretty deep also. So I think this would be a good shoe to bring outdoors. As far as the cushioning you're getting here on these, this does have a pro foam midsole. So basically it's just an EVA or Phylon midsole, just a Phylon injected midsole. Now, right off the bat, they are very stiff when you do get these on court, but after you break them in underfoot, they're not bad. There is a decent compression here. So as you can see here, it is kind of a chunk funky midsole right here and that foam or phylon foam does run throughout so obviously this is a budget model you're not going to get anything crazy you're not getting that nitro foam here for his first signature shoe but the heel to toe transition is very smooth it does offer some nice compression and then up here in the forefoot it's actually pretty close to the floor so i'm really not mad at what they did here for the hundred dollar price tag but it would have been nicer to see that nitro foam in these but i do understand why they couldn't do that at the hundred dollar price point so as far as the cushion setup goes I'm gonna have to give these a 7 out of 10 a pretty basic setup through and through but I think if you like playing close to the floor or if you like having a bit of impact protection at the back of your basketball shoes if you are a big I think you will enjoy these from Puma Hoops as far as the fit on these guys, I did go true to size. I went with my standard size 10 and a half and my toe is basically right at the end of the shoe here, basically touching the end of the shoe. I will say it does start out a little bit narrow and you do have the outsole that does wrap up to the side of the shoe. And I wouldn't say it was any like pinch points here on the side but it was pretty snug so I will say if you are a wide footer I would go up half a size and you should be good to go but as far as the fit goes this was a very snug one-to-one -one fit the heel counter kept you locked down and within this shoe and there was really no extra movement within this shoe now as far as the tongue goes as you can see it is gusseted it does kind of have the bungees 
going down from the midfoot all the way down. So this tongue will not be having any movement within the shoe. And this tongue is very thick also. If you've played in any of the Puma MB01, 2s, or 3s, it's very, very reminiscent of those as it's very thick and padded. Very nice offering from Puma Hoops as far as the overall fit goes. So if I had to give these a rating, I would give them an 8 out of 10. As far as the materials here, you are getting kind of a variety of materials. Starting at the back of the shoe, they are saying this is a suede heel counter. It does seem like a very much a synthetic material, but you are kind of getting some older hits as far as materials go at the back. Moving your way forward, you do kind of have this jacquard mesh here. It is very durable. I wouldn't say it's very breathable, but it does break in pretty quickly. It does run down the middle of the shoe on the tongue also, down to the toe box. And then everything else is kind of a synthetic material. You do have some fuse portions here on the eye stay. And then this material here, it's not quite fused, but it's just a synthetic material that does break in pretty quickly and it feels pretty nice and supportive on foot for the overlay that you're getting here on the toe box. Overall, the materials are nothing special, but what can you expect from a $100 price point, 135 here in Canada? I think they did a pretty decent job as far as the offering on the materials. So as far as the materials go, I'm gonna have to give them a seven and a half out of 10. Again, nothing special, but I do like what Puma is offering for most of their hoop shoes right now, as far as the materials go. As far as the weight goes for the, as far as the weight goes for these guys here, this is a US size 10 and a half, and these do come in at 18.15 ounces so they are a bit heavier than your standard shoe in a size 10 and a half for me most of my basketball shoes in 10 and a half are like around that 13 to 14 ounces so these here are a bit heavier as far as the weight goes as far as the support goes on these guys right here starting at the back of the shoe you do have an internal heel counter that does a great job it's very rigid it does keep your foot locked in at the back of the shoe as far as the height of this shoe it's kind of a low top mid i wouldn't say mid top it's on the lower side as far as the height of this hoop shoe right here and i did enjoy that having these on foot moving your way forward from that this material here does a great job as far as harnessing your foot within the shoe on any hard lateral cuts this material is very durable and very supportive in my opinion moving your way down from that your foot is actually sitting housed within this kind of foam portion here of the cushioning at the back and then moving your way down from that your foot is actually sitting within this midsole and then kind of these teeth that do wrap, wrap up sorry from the outsole also so on any hard lateral cuts i had no issues here in the puma scoot one this shoe had me locked down on any movements i made on the basketball court at the bottom of the shoe you do have a pretty wide and stable base at the heel and in the forefoot and it does flare out just a little bit right here on the lateral side so as far as any hard lateral cuts or if you're going to land awkwardly on anyone's foot or just in general you should be good to go as far as the support and preventing your foot from teetering over i do believe that these have a really small plastic tpu shank plate because the torsional rigidity on these guys right here does a fantastic job so so as far as the support goes i'm gonna have to give these an eight out of ten so that's gonna do it for today's performance review. As far as the price tag, 100 USD, I think it's a very nice price tag for parents to get their kids into a signature basketball shoe. And the traction was amazing on clean or dirty floors. I did wipe out of habit, but overall, I really did not have any issues. Obviously, it would be nice to have a little bit of feedback with some squeaking, but this was a silent killer on court the fit was very nice it was a very snug one-to-one -one fit really no movement within the shoe as always if you guys can like comment and subscribe that does help the channel a ton and check out my instagram over at sneaker tech talk as it is an extension of my youtube channel with all my pickups basketball footage and nostalgia as a whole as always thanks for watching today's video and until next time peace